Good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome to Biblical Essentials. I'm Dr. Dominique Baptiste, and here we teach Jesus. We teach Jesus Christ of the Bible. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I hope everybody had a warm and wonderful night last night. I understand it is snowing in some places, freezing in others, and it's just kind of cold here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So praise God. Welcome this morning. Amen. Thank you for joining. Welcome. Yay. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for joining this morning. Praise God this morning. Welcome. Good morning, my brother. Welcome. Amen. Whew. We're having strange weather these days, aren't we? Freezing one day, one weekend, almost 80 degrees the next. I keep speaking to the atmosphere and commanding it to get in line with God's clock. Winter should be winter. Spring should be spring. Fall should be fall. and Summer should be summer. And fall should be fall as we roll back around to winter. Praise God. Amen. I believe in order. And I believe that the atmosphere and everything associated with it, including all of mankind, should be in order. Amen. Well, guys, well, listen, good morning. We're well, we're talking. And those of you who watching the replay, bless y'all. Can you kindly leave? I mean, there's so many, there, there are few of you that inbox me and say, oh, what a blessing. Or you like the program or you just watch it in your text or something like that. I want you to do this. Just say amen when you're watching the replay. That's it. Amen. Or calling you. <laughs> Either one. Something. Amen. So that we can know who you are. You know, there are people out there that are listening to this ministry. From what I can see, it's it's about the, we had about a, a same number um, between 50 and 70 people that we don't know. And we want to know you because we want to pray with you. We want to believe God with you. We want to stand firm with you. Praise God. We want to hear what thus saith the Lord. Amen. Through you and to you. Amen. You know, it's, we just want to be a blessing and we want to know who you are. I, pr I pray for the unknown viewer. I do. I prophesy and speak over the unknown viewer. Amen. <laughs> but don't be the unknown viewer. Be the known viewer. And just say praise the Lord or, or something. We want to know. We want to be. We want to be a blessing in your life. Amen. Well, listen, guys. Have a. <laughs> it's a great day. It's a beautiful day here. Thank Jesus for another lovely day. Amen. We're talking about Jesus. Amen. We're talking about the Word of God and how our God is a truth teller. The Word says God is not a man that He should lie, or the Son of Man that He should repent. Praise God. Amen. I thank God that he does not lie to us. He does not mislead us. Amen. That every word that he speaks is truth and life. Amen. And it's life and life more what? Abundantly. Thank God for abundant life and his um, many, many blessings and the grace that he gives to each and every one of us. Um, we're During this, during this lesson season, um, we are going to be doing a promise a day. I promise a day. So I'm going to continue. I will continue this through the end of the fast. And we'll see what the Lord says after that. But this is what he's put in my spirit to do for now. All right. So Philippians 1 and 21. It says this. For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Amen. He said to live is Christ. This is Paul at the end of his journey. He says, to live is Christ and to die is gain. You know, we love the Lord and we thank him that we know that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So when we live, we live unto Christ. Amen. And when we tra are translated from this world to the to the glory as kingdom of God, amen, where we'll meet with him, amen, for eternity and live with him for eternity, praise God, that can only be gain. Amen. I love, love Paul's perspective. As he was getting older, he was saying, listen, hey, I know I may, I may not be here forever. Praise God. But what I do know is that in being here, amen, that I'm going to live my life for Christ. Amen. And when I, when I go to where, you know, when I go to heaven, when I go to glory, when I go to live with Jesus for eternity, praise God, then I know that I will do nothing but profit and gain. And, you know, even 
you know, Billy Graham died recently. And one thing that's interesting that I found interesting anyway, was that more people than, you know, than saying, hey, you know, we've lost a great soldier in the kingdom. In those first days, the day they made the announcement, there were more people, oh, I'm claiming that anointing, or I'm claiming that gift, or, you know, God has given me that gift. And I thought, I said, can we, my people, <laughs> amen, can we um, let God, let the man's family grieve? Can we let the man, can we let him die <laughs> already? But, you know, and, and I understand where, you know, where people in ministry are, and, you know, what we're striving to do. And we do want God's highest and his best. Amen. We do want to move in the gifts. We do want, you know, audiences of tens of thousands, thousands and ten thousands. We do want that, you know, because we believe that God has given us a profound word. But um, I know that Paul was thinking the same thing, but his, Paul's thoughts were as to live and to die is gain. It's when I'm out of here, I'm going to live with the Father forever. And this is going to be wonderful. I'm going to live with Jesus forever. Amen. So, you know, even when Billy Graham passed and many people, there was just so much in the first few days. I'm glad they kind of took a week to bury him. <laughs> Amen. To let people get through the process. And I realized maybe for some people that was their response in shock. But um, to me, it was very interesting the, the some of the responses that we heard you know it, it's clear that when you know that these people clearly did not know the man a man they knew the minister but you know it's you can't know the person and not fit and say that the first day he died <laughs> lord have mercy right but god has promised us all you know giftings and anointings and we want to get into the giftings and anointings that God has given us and some of the promises that he has made us as new believers, I mean, as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, we, and you know, in the movement of faith that we have here and um, that kind of moves through the kingdom of less of great lessons. I'll say, you know, those high level lessons, those high level um, principles and covenants that we have with God. We have Abraham, Abram, amen, and he's called the father of faith. Amen of the faith movement. And um, it is because when God spoke to him, it was attributed, accounted unto him for righteousness. The fact that he just believed what God had to say. God, the father told him one thing and he said, yes, Lord. Amen. So he believed God and he followed. Amen. What the spirit of God was telling him at the time. Now, what was the spirit saying? You know, what did the Lord say to Abram? And what makes us think that we are I would just say, you know, when God um, speaks to us, our response should be what? Yes, Lord. But oftentimes it's a discussion. Amen. We 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 have to say, oh yes, and I need confirmation, and you know, we go do the Gideon on God. <laughs> we go, oh, I need a fleece. I need you know three signs of this. God. This is God speaking. I need a this. I need a that or the other. And, you know, I just think that God is looking for those who are willing to hear his voice. I mean, and he, he still blessed Gideon. Don't get me wrong. Um, but he's looking for those of us who will hear his voice and say, yes, Lord. Whether anyone has ever said it to us or not. Yes, Lord. Whether we get confirmation or not. Yes, Lord. You know, I'm learning so much in these days, these days of fasting that we're doing that. Our yes, Lord. I'm like, oh, my goodness. You know, God is just, he's just opening my eyes to so much. It's like, I thought I needed so much in some areas and God is showing me you don't need that much. You just need to do, you know, just move as I'm instructing you to move. You just need to um, take that which I've already given you and move with it. And I'm watching people that, that have a fraction, amen, of what I have in this particular area and they're doing great things, just great things. And so I'm saying to the Lord, yes, Lord. Now, you know, let's just do some great things. Let's do those God things. Amen. Amen. So let's get into the word. Let's get into the word. Let's get, let's look in the scripture and see what the Lord is saying about the Abrahamic covenant. Um, this is our last day on this, but um, we'll move forward. Amen. Excuse me. And we will. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Amen. We will uh, move forward. And I want you to hold this lesson in your heart. Hold it in your spirit. Because this is the first lesson that come, 
um, that's really, that has kind of translated over to our current day kingdom teaching, which is um, Abram was called the father of faith because he believed, he's, that's why we call him that, because he believed God and it was accounted unto him as righteousness. Praise God. Not because of anything he did physically, but because he just believed. He heard God's voice and he said, yes. Yes, Lord. Okay. You got it. Pack my bag, leave my family. No problem. (laughs) You know, I'm sure it might not have been that easy, but I know that, you know, when God is leading you to do something, he always puts that unction there anyway. So by the time he actually says it to you, you know, that's the thing to do. Amen. When I'm uh, talking to you guys, one of the things that we've we talked about is really um, the, speaking to the different levels of people. Amen. Different levels of maturity. There are babes. Amen. That a part of this lesson is for you to know. Praise God to know the word, to know where to find it in the scripture. There are young men. It is for you to ponder in your heart and ask God to perfect this word in your heart. And then there are fathers and, you know, to, to show you what to do with it. And then there are fathers that are here to um, bring you back to the word and encourage you and to keep, you know, stabilize you in the word of God, in this word of faith. Abraham 12, um, Genesis 12, 1 through 3, it says, Now the Lord said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country and thy kindred and thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. Amen. We talked about that yesterday. I ask each and every one of you once again to pray and ask God, God, speak to me, speak to me and show me, you know, where in my heart there's anything but a yes, Lord, if I heard this. Now, we don't have to put ourselves into something, you know, that is like, oh, God didn't say that to me. But what if he did? You know, what what if God did speak this to you? We need to have a heart that says, yes, Lord. No matter what he asks us. Yes, Lord. And it's not easy. Yes, Lord. Amen. Leave thy, Get thee out of thy country and thy kindred. He told him to leave thy country. Amen. And your kindred, your brothers and sisters, your cousins, your uncles, your neighbors, whomever. And, um, and from thy father's house and go into a land that I will show thee. And we talked about that a little more in depth on yesterday. Then he says, and I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee and I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. Amen. Now, when we think of, you know, we know we have the prayer of Jabez and people pray and recite the prayer of Jabez and make it their own. You know, but if I were to, you know, and in addition to the prayer of Jabez, I would look at this blessing that God gave Abraham. And I said, Lord, bless me. Make me a great nation. Amen. Um. Make my name great for your kingdom's sake, you know, and let me be a blessing to others. That's an honorable prayer to pray. Amen. It says the only, this is the only place where this particular statement is found. You know, when we ask for, you know, when God says, I will bless thee. Verse number two, um, you know, this has been fulfilled, I would say many, many times and will be fulfilled in many, many lives. Oh, that thou will bless me indeed. Amen. Amen. That's the prayer of Jabez. So he says, he says, I'll make you a great nation. Amen. I will bless you. I will make your name great. And then you'll be a blessing to others. So I encourage you to make this, this prayer, these, this prophetic word from God to Abram, your personal prayer. Amen. Lord, make me a great nation. Bless me. Make my name great for your kingdom's sake. And I will make your name great. Amen. And then make me a blessing so that I can be a blessing to others. Next, he says this. He says, I will bless, I will bless them that bless thee. I will curse them that curse thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Now, he said, I'm going to bless everyone who blesses you. Thank you, God. I'm going to curse everyone who tries to curse you. Have mercy on them, Lord. Amen. And then, um, and in me shall, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Lord, let everyone I come in contact with, 
and those that they come in contact with be blessed as well. Think about that. I'm going to put a Selah right there. And we're, 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 we're going to break up a little early today. But I want you to pray on that and think about that. Lord, make me a great nation. Make me suitable to be a great nation. Man, and then bless me to lead that nation. And then make my name great. And I'll lift up your name and make your name great among the people. Amen. And I'll be a blessing. And when you bless me, I'll bless others. Praise God. Amen. That's awesome. Think about this. God blessed the nation. God blessed him personally. And then God gave him a universal blessing. Amen. The next one, it says, I will bless them that bless thee. Then he, then he, sets, a, he sets a hedge around him. He sets a hedge of protection around him. I will curse them that curse thee. And in these shall all the families of the earth be blessed. God said he's going to set a prayer of protection around each and every one of us. Amen. He blesses us. Praise God. Amen. He, he, he pushes the enemy away and fights on our behalf. Amen. And then of all those that we have influence in their lives are over. Amen. He blesses them through us. That's incredible. Ponder that this week, today. Amen. We'll be back tomorrow. Amen. God bless you and keep you. God make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace.